What up dudes, my name is Pixatrix, welcome back to some Pokemon battles against some randos online. I uh, got some really funny stuff today, I got some um, different types of Pokemon I want to show off, and yeah, got some pretty good stuff. Alright, we're finding the Mighty Gek, and he starts with a Ludicola. Dude, this thing is like the trolliest Pokemon I've ever seen in my life, and shiny too. Look at, Look at him dance around so joyfully, look at that. He was really strolly, um, stally Pokemon. Um, Alright, so he's going to set up the rain here. And, um, this is my Cofferigus, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is, like, my status inflicting Cofferigus as Will-O-Wisp, Curse, Pain Split, and Shadow Ball just to have an attacking move. I probably should switch it to, uh, something like Nightshade or something, I don't know. I don't have much invested in this special attack, it's kind of mixed, but, um, mainly it's just to get the debuffs up and, um, kind of like you know get my health back with pain split so yeah it's uh it's at, i have some pretty interesting stuff with this but i've been having fun with it definitely all right so since the rain's up it has rain dish and it also has leftovers and has giga drain so it's three forms of recovery all in one but i got the burn up and um now i'm able to get the pain split up so that's gonna give me about yeah back to half and um takes them down to half so it, it was pretty all right the rain is still up though, so I'm just, I'm really just trying to stall that out a little more. So, yeah, I was trying to force a swap, but I decided to, uh, save my Cofferigus for, uh, later. Alright, so I, uh, switched down to Crobat. Looking back on it, I, I could have probably, uh, done this right away. But, um, they, they had some other Pokemon on the team that they didn't bring to this fight. That could have benefited from the rain, so I was really just trying to stall that out. Okay, here was a really risky play for me right here. I um actually was predicting a swap because why would you leave Ludicola in against Crobat? Um, so I decided to go for the Confuse Ray, thinking they'd swap into another Pokemon. But they actually do stay in and they get past the Confuse Axe. So I'm gonna get hit by Scald in the rain, and that's gonna do tons of damage to my Crobat. But I, I live with 32 health. And, um, yeah, I get past the rain, so I don't have to worry about that right now. So, um, yeah, this thing was definitely very, very trolly. I, I had to get past it, so I just said, I'll forget. I will just go for the Brave Bird. I, I, I need to make sure this thing is buried. <laughs> and, yeah, my Crobat Brave Bird. Shoutouts to Spencer for hooking me up with this Crobat, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so that's that. And I live on 8 health, and that was, that was, uh, that was huge. Okay, so, how comes the Chestnut, uh... Shiny too. I, I like that color. Wow, that's really cool. All right. Anyway, so they're gonna spiky shield, and I predicted that, so I went for the confuse ray because spiky shield. The way it works, it's like protect, but if you attack it, you you get damaged. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, Brave Bird's gonna absolutely annihilate Chestnut, and that was uh, really good because um, it's a really stally Pokemon too. So, I'm gonna go down to the recoil damage, and that's totally fine. Crobat did loads right there. It was it was perfect. All right, so so now cover I guess again, and um, out comes the Gyarados. This theme is an absolute monster. Um, I was really worried about this. Is it gonna be Mega too? Because of course, why not? I I think Mega Gyarados looks so like eh. I don't know. I wish it like grew some legs or some shit. I don't know. It just looks like it's on steroids. Anyway, it's gonna set, actually set up the Dragon Dance, and I was like, huh. That's kind of odd because it saw that I had Will-O-Wisp and I don't know, why wouldn't you just try to take it out? So I'm going to get the burn up and um, that's going to absolutely annihilate its attack, right? Even though it has Mold Breaker, but I'm cover it, so it's going to actually get a little cocky here and set up a second Dragon Dance and I'm able to get the curse off right here, which was uh, pretty good. So I'm going to... Get that up and i live on nine health and i was like wow that is huge because now i'm going to get another round of burn and another round of curse uh off for free yeah so that was actually huge right there and um it's finally gonna go for the waterfall and i'm actually on this sam actually also carrying uh rocky helmets yeah it's gonna get mummy so the mold breaker is no longer play yeah and it, I, I find it works really useful on this, on, on this Pokemon. I don't know, it, it's such a good item, it's, I don't know, a lot of people don't see it coming, so. 
that in combination with the burn damage and the curse is going to be enough to take out the Mega Gyarados. So that was just like mega combo at the end right there. I was like, yeah. And I think I had a Greninja in the back. So that was a really good fight. That was cool. Okay. So let's see. <laughs> yeah, I've been having fun with this uh, Pokemon. I need to try more ghost types. I, I never uh, use them normally. But they're fun. I've been having a good time with it. Alright, so... This guy is going to lead with the uh, Mega Charizard. And he's going to set up the Dragon Dance. And um, there's really not much I could do to it, honestly. I just decided just to set up the curse. Because they were probably like predicting his swap. I was going to curse, then pain split. Uh, probably here. Yeah. Just to uh, get some a little bit of my health health back right, right there. But um, they uh, just went for the Flare Blitz. And uh, that's going to be enough to take out my cover. It's uh, it's kind of mixed out, like I said, so it's not like super defensive. I mean, it's, you know, Charizard X. So. But anyway, the Rocky Helmet's going to put a little damage on it. And then the Curse is going to start to whittle away itself. And the recoil damage, too. So, it was a Dude, Charizard L X looks so badass, dude. I got the Y one. He's cool, too. So. <laughs> Anyway, this is my Cradilly, this is my Stalling, uh, just pretty standard set. It has, like, Protect, Toxic, um, and it has Energy Ball on it, actually. And, uh, it has Confuse Ray, so it's kind of a hack set. So, yeah, it's just a pretty standard, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, except Energy Ball. It probably should be run running, like, Giga Drain on it or something. Alright, out comes the Talent Flame, it actually goes for the Fly, and I was like, oh, that's odd, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have Protect, so, I mean, I, I could have, I could have just went for the, uh, Toxic again. I probably could have lived that, but, you know, I decided not to take any free damage. It's gonna go for the Flame Charge, and that's gonna do, like, nothing. This is my very, very defensive Cradilly. So, I, I, I'm able to get the Toxic off, uh, Toxic off. And I'm also, uh, carrying Lefties on the set, to Just get, that's pretty much my only form of recovery. Again, I, I probably should have, like, Giga Drain or some some other thing, maybe Rest. I don't know. I don't like running Rest that much. I need to start experimenting with some new sets. But yeah, I'm gonna get hit with the Ray Burden's neutral damage, so it still does tons too, uh, considering I, how defensive I am. Okay, and Shell Ball. Okay, so I'm able to get the uh, Confuse Ray off. And <laughs> man, Confuse Ray. I don't know. I kind of enjoy this move <laughs> just because. When it works out, it's huge, you know what I mean? Okay, so I got the ray off, and the poison is slowly starting to build up. And, um, probably just gonna, yeah, just sit behind, try to get a little more health back. Um, hopefully get some hacks. And, so let's see. Yeah, and they hurt themselves right there, so that was good. I was like, yes. <laughs> okay, it's working out. So I'm slowly starting to get my, uh, health back over time, so... This person had a really interesting- that's what I like about these 3v3s, there's so many- Like, there's six Pokemon that you can bring, but then you have to make a decision which three, like, you bring to the battle, so that- I don't know, I can all- I like that, you know what I mean? So, alright, so I'm gonna hit him with the energy ball, I didn't want to go for the double protect right there, I was just like, oh, let's just try to get some damage. Maybe if someone, like, swaps into it or something, and, um, yeah. I get another Confuse Axe, and it, Talon Flame goes down to the Toxic, so, yeah. It, it's kind of a shame not having a Rock move on, on this set, though, but, again, this is just kind of uh, my stalling set, so, just pretty standard. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Toxic on the Chandelure. I really like this Pokemon. This is a Pokemon I, I think I might want to work with next, maybe look into uh, what they can run, because it, it just looks really cool, and I like the type. The Fire Ghost, yeah. So, I'm probably gonna work with that sometime in the future. Alright, so out comes Green Ninja. Dude, just like in Smash Brothers, dudes. The Fire Blast misses again, okay. And, um, yeah, just, uh, this is my special attacking, like, max speed Green Ninja. Just, again, pretty standard stuff, so, yeah. I'm gonna hit it with the Skull, and that's gonna absolutely annihilate it. But, um, that was an interesting, that was an interesting team. They just brought all fire, I mean. Alright, and finally we got to fight against the mighty Shadow the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog. I'm really glad I was able to recover this fight. It was really funny. It's kind of old one. Alright, so I'm leading with my shiny Rotom. 
that people don't like when I use, but I, I enjoy it. So I, I get the T-Bolt, just try to get some damage, and I get that instant para hacks, and I was like, oh my god. So, um, fortunately, the Synchronize doesn't affect Rotom, but they do get the Hypnosis off. So now there's really not much I could do. I don't want this thing to recover any health. So I'm going to go ahead and switch Rotom, predict, predicting like a, uh, a Dream Meter or something, you know. So out into Heracross, and uh, Gardevoir is actually looking to Mega Ball now. I think they might have been looking for like a Will-O-Wisp Synchronize or something along those lines, I'm not sure. Mega Gardevoir is so sick, I wish I had a stone for it, dude. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I was trying to force a swap. I was predicting one of the rock type Pokemon to come out, but they didn't bring in. Actually, out comes Deoxys, which is kind of strange, because if I did click Megahorn, that would have absolutely destroyed it. Um, this is actually my choice scarfed uh, Heracross. It's max speed, max attack. So uh, I'm locked into close combat, but it's 2 at KO, so I'm able to get past Deoxys, and um, I was happy about that, because I really don't know much about legendaries. So, uh, I was happy just to see it die. Yeah, people... Oh, and you get a Moxie boost, too. Yeah. I mean, people hate when I use Rotom and stuff, but I, I never use Legendaries. It's just, I don't know. People spam them in a battle spot, like, all the time. So, I'm still locked in the close combat. It's not gonna do much now to guard at all. But I get a crit, even after a crit and a Moxie boost, it's just not enough to take it out. But then it gets Parahaxed again, I was like, Ye oh my god. And... and <laughs> I actually run out of PP for close combat and I get the struggle kill, dude. <laughs> so well, I actually killed with struggle. So that was hilarious. That was awesome. And I get a moxie boost, but... So I was like, should I go for the moxie struggle on the next Pokemon? But then out comes Kyogre. Yeah. Like I said, people spam Megas and Legendaries all the time. So I don't feel too bad about bringing like pretty good Pokemon to a uh, battle spot. You know, play to win. You know what I mean? So whatever. Either way. So, <laughs> um, I don't really want to <laughs> take, uh, Origin Pulse from this thing on, uh, <laughs> on Heracross. So I switch out to Greninja, um, and I was feeling really cheeky at this point because all the hacks. So I decided to go for that lick with that giant ton of Greninja, trying to get a pair of hacks, but it actually doesn't happen, right? And unfortunately, my Focus Sash was not equipped. I normally run Focus Sash. On that because it's it's like max speed match spe special attack you know so I did not I was not able to get anything done with uh, Greninja right there and I just got shrek by surf okay origin pulse misses again and I instantly wake up and I'm able to get the T bowl off and I get the pair of hacks <laughs> and I was like oh my god I'm having all the luck right now in the world but um all right finally orange shooting pulse hits me this time and it uh, even though it's not very effective, it still does, uh, it's still a 2 hit KO, it's a really powerful move in the rain and uh, all, all that, you know, so, um, I'm just going to stay and try to get more damage and it just barely loses, that was like, that's like one health right there and I was like, wow, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was just a really funny fight, I, I get, I got loads of hacks right there and it was, it was just, uh, it was pretty, it was pretty, that's struggle KO, dude, alright, so, I'm gonna come out with my uh, choice scarfs, Heracross, and well, <laughs> that animation, <laughs> just Heracross. I love that animation. It looks so funny uh, in this game against Yogurt. Yeah, so um, it was a really funny fight. So yeah, dudes, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one, dudes. Peace.